if you're a data scientist and you are working with causal models, how can you do hyperparameter tuning? In the machine learning space, I feel like this is very straightforward. A lot of the models such as random forest, um, decision trees, XG boost, a lot of them have just well-known hyperparameters that are set in the model. And then typically you would do something like a grid search and make a choice on your um, uh, best hyperparameter selection. But in causal modeling, you might not always even be aware that you're doing hyperparameter selection. For example, let's say you have a synthetic control and you have one treated region and there's 100 or 99 other untreated regions. Well, if you don't do anything, you are by default selecting 99 other regions as your donor pool, right? But you're not actively selecting that, right? Like this isn't a choice in the model that says, you know, num donors equals 99. It's just that you're using everything in the data. Now, imagine if you run the synthetic control one time. In this specific example, we get an average treatment effect that was a relative effect of about 7%. This is a placebo. This is AA testing. So the true effect should have been zero. But one way you can test how the model performs in general or on average is by re-randomizing the treated units, right? So maybe it's one, maybe it's five, maybe it's 10. You just re-randomize the treated units and you can get an average effect, like you can get a distribution of these AA effects. And the closer that distribution is, the tighter it is to zero. So you can see here the average estimated relative effect over a thousand iterations, it's the mean and the standard error. But the tighter that distribution, the better your model. And so your next step might be to test this with a smaller donor pool and see if it does better.